Wow. I grew up here in Bolinas on a family ranch. It's about 250 acres, and I've always loved the wildlife. I've known it all my life. It's like crazy on a summer morning, you know, first light. You don't even have to open a window. You can hear that just the singing is, it's like a, being in an opera house of birds. I'm really excited about the roles raptors can play in sustainable food systems. Raptors can provide beneficial pest control service on farms, which is a win for farmers. It's also a win for raptor conservation. Working with the wildlife, having them help with some of the work on the farm and, you know, dealing with pests, that's also been a focus and a really fascinating side of this. Almost every raptor species will take advantage of a good perch. And perches are a really good strategy to attract a raptor to a particular area or a particular field. Cooper's hawks and also sparrow hawks are really helpful with small birds and this problem with the English sparrows out in the middle of this one particular crop, the broccoli, they were just, they were focused on that and they were just shredding it to ribbons and it had not produced any flowers yet or any um, broccoli. I do a certain amount of overhead irrigation. So I have these large, very stable pipes. So I took off the sprinkler head. That's a half inch pipe. So I just made up a half inch perch, a tea perch. And lo and behold, within a day, the Cooper's hawks were using them. And I did notice a huge decline and we ended up getting a great crop out of that. Cooper's hawks, will keep birds on edge. So flocks of birds won't stick in any one spot for too long because they're afraid of their predator. We always know when a Cooper's hawk is around because all the songbirds will stop singing and dive for cover. So different habitat types will attract different raptor species. For example, red-tailed hawks, American kestrels, and barn owls will be attracted to more open areas such as grasslands and forage crops, whereas more wooded vegetation and large trees will attract raptors like great horned owls, red-shouldered hawks, and cooper's hawks. Here I call them a tractor hawk because when I start the tractor, they show up and they have certain perches when the tractor's running that they go to and they're grabbing stuff out of the field, mice, and a, the occasional gopher that gets dislodged and is wandering through the field. So they'll they'll swoop in and get them. Red-tailed hawks are one of the more common hawk species in North America and especially in the West. They readily use artificial perches and they will use large trees to build their nests in. Red-tailed hawks provide a lot of beneficial pest control services because one of their main prey items are California ground squirrels. They will also consume mice, voles, and gophers. So I tell the farmer friends, like, there's always a way to work it out or to protect something if you if the crop is valuable. I think the other side of that is you should be aware of what's on your land. I mean, as far as what creatures are there, whether it's, it's mammals or birds or, or insects, reptiles, all of them. And, you know, what are their needs? Can you get along with them? And once you realize what are the areas that, that are important to the wildlife, if you can keep those areas available to them to use, I think that's, that's doing a lot. The three things that farmers can do to promote raptors are to increase and maintain natural habitat and vegetation around the farm. Also, farmers can promote raptors by installing artificial nest boxes for breeding and artificial perches for raptors to hunt from. Another thing farmers can do is to decrease the use of harmful pesticides and rodenticides that have the potential to work their way into the food chain and disproportionately affect top predators such as raptors. I don't know, it's so cool when you can get the raptors to help you out and keep the pesty ones at bay. It's that healthy ecosystem that provides the predator insects and it provides other benefits to the farm. So it's really just kind of, you know, making sure that everybody's got a place on the farm and it works.